You couldn't be becalmed. You see, can you imagine sailing out and fishing down the down Loch Fine, and then suddenly the wind dropped and you couldn't get back? So it'd be lovely to just turn over the handle on this big flywheel and get this thing chuffing a wall. And then you could just get yourself back up to the harbour right. with your catch. Yes, definitely. And I can remember my father telling me, one boat shouting to another, uh, he says, how are you getting on? He says, we're getting on fine, even although the compass is in the smiddy. <laughs> Blackie the Bull says my gardener is louder than that absolutely brilliant so is. I've just had my EV charger fitted for my car no more diesel engine noise isn't that amazing absolutely brilliant the thing about both the Kelvin and the you see you could actually hand start a 6 cylinder 132 horsepower Kelvin because they started, Keith, on petrol. Not diesel? No, they were diesel engines. You'll love this. But they had individual cast iron cylinders, right? Uh -huh. And screwed into the top of each of these cylinders was a spark plug. And it went down to a magneto. And what you did was there was levers for lifting the compression off the, the diesel because... As you know, a diesel's a compression ignition engine, and it starts through heat. The same principle as a bicycle pump. Mind when you used to put your finger over the bicycle pump, give it a couple of pumps, and your finger got hot. Well, uh, well yeah, I, I do, but I mean, I never had one. <laughs> you never had a bicycle pump. So, no. Oh, yeah, right, I see. You see? I thought you meant you put it over. Oh, the Kelvin. No, no, no. So you had a lever attached to all the lifters, whether it was a 2, a 4, or a 6. A K2, a K4, or a K6. And you pulled this lever back, and that took off all the compression. You then had a huge brass tube with a brass gauze, beautifully engineered, running along the top of the cylinders. And you took a, 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 a gallon can of petrol, and poured it into the bowl in the gauze. Right. Then once the petrol had all dripped down, you set the magneto, and you went round to the starting handle and engaged it with a spring. And, you know, it could kick back on you. You had to watch, and it would chuff, 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 chuff. Oh, you just about, you just about wore yourself out. You had to watch. You did 